Hello, darling. Cece, could you help me bring my gym back to the office? I forgot to bring it and I want to hit the weights before lunch. Sure. Thanks. It's right next to the front door. Yeah. Right bye, darling. I'm so glad I don't have any more morning sickness. I can actually enjoy Davy's cooking again. Isn't it time you leave for work? Oh, um, Scott Rose told me to come in later with Radali. Is that okay with you, Sam? Yeah, of course. Razali, can you come home for lunch today? Uh, I... I want to know what exactly happened in Australia. Yeah, you saw the bruise, right? Mm. Apparently, he was flirting with the owner's daughter from Madinas. Zara, Julius, flirt. Come on, he's with Silas Shelley, who's damn hot for age. I'm gonna tell your wife you said that, huh? <laughs> tell her, she knows I need look-see. But don't touch. <laughs> but seriously, how many 50-year-olds look that good? Are you sure she's 50? More like 60. 50, 60, so what? She still looks good. That's true, for her age. Hey, free for lunch. Wanna go for fish soup later? Again? Sorry, uh, today very busy. Uh. You take a seat first, okay? Handsome, uh, can help me clear the table or not? Cannot. Yeah, okay, Wixom. Handsome, you can help me, right? I don't help you because I am angry. Okay, Handsome. How if I make you a deal? Ma, I think better not cut you anymore. Handsome, uh, what if I can get your old job at Lux back? It's not the same. It's a job that you got for yourself, what? Last time. No, no. Ma, I think better to leave it. You are still going to talk to Jessica, right? No matter what I say. What choice do I have? He's still so angry with me. Thank you. You are a lifesaver. I'll come with you. Oh, um... Actually, I have a really short lunch break and it's a high-intensity session. You may not like it. You think I can't keep up with you? I'm too old. What? Not at all. Let me see if I can book you in. Ah, oh, dang it. All the slots are gone. Oh. Tell you what, I'll skip my slot and we can have a little session together. Show you how I pump these guys, you know? No, you shouldn't. It was silly of me to assume I should join you. Well, I better rush off. Oh, oh hello, good looking. Excuse hello. us. Maxine, you're just maxing out on the cuteness. You're quite the charmer, Julius. Of females of any age, from the very young to the very old. <laughs> well, thank you. See you later. Julius, I need the report. Lunch before. break, bro, son. Work for Jessica again. Your mother is a cesspool of bad ideas. Hey, your mother also okay. Anyway, Handsome also didn't like the idea. Good for him. Well, may one stop treating him like a kid? You better do something about it. Me? What about you? If I go anywhere near her, she's gonna try and poke her nose into my personal life again. That one not a fault, okay? You're the one who's so secretive. Won't tell us anything. I haven't seen you since I didn't get invited to your wedding. I'm so sorry, that was completely on impulse. And I can see why, you look fabulous. <laughs> and, Kwan Yim! Is everyone from the Orchid Lady Society out today? Look, hasn't marriage done wonders for Celia? <laughs> you look 10 years younger. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so ladies, now we found the secret to the fountain of youth. We have to ditch our husbands. 
Alamak, look at the time. I have to pick up my grandson from NS. Bye, Celia. Bye. Bye. Yeah. It wasn't a full-fledged affair. I found out before it went too far. Who was the man? One of her colleagues. It was my fault. I was so wrapped up with my work, I neglected her. Neglect? She's married. She should still stay faithful. So when I saw Julius yesterday, he brought all these feelings up again. Of course, I was wrong. I still shouldn't have punched him. I'm sorry. But thank you for not giving up on my daughter and your marriage. It was hard, Ibu. It was very hard. I know I was partly to blame, so I focused on Zara after that. Our marriage lasted, but there was a price to pay. Your business? I hate... I mean... Why can't I be like those guys who can juggle everything and be successful in anything that they do? I know Zara likes a nice life. That's why she tried dating guys like Louis Shelley, right? I was pretty successful last time too. But now, look at where I am. Don't, don't say that. Okay? It's very clear you love my daughter. And you've given everything up for her. comes and asks Auntie Chattaka to give me a job. Can you please tell her to say no? Okay, you want to tell me why? No. So, you will tell Auntie Chattaka? Sure. And make Auntie Chattaka promise to say no. Uh, I'll try. You must make a promise. I am very serious. And then my promise. Okay, and I promise to make her promise to say no. Thanks. There, yeah, I gotta go. Louis! Come, join me. Uh, it's okay, Mum. I'm actually here for a quick takeaway and then... I insist. After what happened... <gasps> Grief, Mum. Thank you. Are you... I spoke to Handsome just now. Oh, that's good. He told me that if you were to ask Jessica for a job, she should say no. Oh. I don't think Handsome should work at Lux. At least not for now. Jessica is very busy with the engagement planning and the Empowering Women initiative. Handsome won't get much attention. Oh. Anyway, it sounds like he doesn't want to work at Lux either. But working there would be good for him. I don't know what's going on, but I think you should talk to him. Louis, what is it? You used to tell me everything. I have nothing to say. Come on, out with it. I don't like how you've become a laughing stock. Now people say you're foolish. I'm happy. I don't need to care what others think. It seems to matter, given that you're trying to chase your youth with... with this? And for what? To please your young husband? To keep him interested? Because your toy boy you just can't see how wonderful you are, no matter the age? Mrs Shelley, your order. Thank you. You're worth more than this. Hey, I was just thinking about you, so I thought I'd call and see how's everything. 
baby giving you any trouble? No, he's been great, very cooperative. How's everything at work? You mean Julius? No, no, I, I mean just in, in general. Oh, he's fine. He still has that bruise, but he waved at me today as if we were like surf buddies. No matter what, he's always in this chill zone. <laughs> Seems like a nice zone to be in. I wonder how to stay in that zone when I have to deal with difficult customers. Tell me who. I'll take care of them for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. We've had quite enough drama. Thank you. You know, I'm so happy to hear your voice. <laughs> yeah, well, you being happy makes me happy. I want you to know that I'm very lucky that you're mine. <laughs> Hansel, where do you go? No way. I know you went to talk to Yo. She told you? Why? What does anybody do things I want them to do? She's just trying to help. Because usually you talk to me, you won't just go off like that. I did talk to you, but you never listen. I listen to you. I'm your mother. Yo, I come out with a lunch treat and you're both quarrelling. I'm always trying to do the best for you. I don't want you to do anything. Okay, let the intervention begin. This better be a good lunch. Ella, will you stand by to stay out of my life? Stay out of Handsome's life, and mine too, since you're on the topic. I keep telling you, Handsome's grown up already. What did I do that is so wrong? Nothing wrong, if Handsome's a five-year-old. I don't agree. I'm going to talk to Jessica tomorrow. Ah, now it makes Handsome very sad. Handsome, don't worry. See, I thought it was a waste of time. What do you get for lunch? Chicken rice. Yay! For crying out loud, chicken rice again. There's nothing in this family change. I thought you weren't coming in today. I have things to do. Okay, did I do something wrong? You've been distant to me since last night. Will you just tell me? How many times have I told you to dress properly? Is this about the Julius thing? Like I told you, I don't know what came over Rosali. I do. What? It may be true, you weren't flirting with him. Maybe. But then who knows what are the signals you are sending to others? Okay, Ibu, where is this coming from? I know about Australia. About your little secrets. I'm disgusted by your behaviour. Shame on you. What? Okay, um, wait a minute. You better behave yourself from now on, or you lose the best thing that ever happened to you. Son, we need to talk. Excuse me? Do you know how hurt your mother is by what you said? Look, Celia and I are married, so get over it, dude. And so what if I'm a toy boy? If it makes her happy, I'll be her toy puppy if she wants me to. Julius, number one, you are in my office. Don't ever talk to me this way. And number two, I am your CEO. You shall address me as Mr. Shelley at all times. I am not your bro's son. Aha! It's after six, which means I'm no longer on the clock. The rules don't apply. Wrong. You're executive level. You're always on the clock. The rules still apply. Dang it. How it is all worked out. Uh, 
Emma won the show to me. I don't know how to talk to her. Pa, I wish you were here with us. It would make everything better. When you see this, please go home, okay? Or better, come home. I'll talk later. Bye, Pa. I told him exactly what we thought. Good. Maybe Lou will call and apologize soon. Anyway, guess what I spent my whole afternoon doing when I got back from lunch? That's so adorable. <laughs> That's my favorite. Maxine's real fun to hang out with. Have you ever wanted children, Julius? <laughs> Never thought about it. Think that might change someday? I don't know. Anyway, I got plenty of time. You know I'm in menopause, right? Huh? I can't have children anymore. Oh. So that means it's impossible for us to have kids? That changes things, right? But, 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 but wait, there was this article the other day, some 60-year-old some lady had a kid after like decades of trying. Yeah. See? They did it. We can too. Or, or adopt. Is that what you want? If you want. You know, I'm so sorry. We should have discussed this before. But I don't. Neither do I. <laughs> I'm so relieved. What about a toy puppy? <laughs> there were 50 over messages. He has been recording for so many years for Stephen to see. Why would he do that for a dead man? I guess handsome still think that Stephen is alive somewhere. May one, did you explain to handsome what happened? You didn't tell him Stephen's dead. How can I tell him that? They didn't find his body. He can't accept such things. This is entirely your fault then. You don't know how to handle your children at all. You just let them do willy-nilly without watching them properly. As if you are so good at handling your own children. At least I tell them exactly what they need to know. I don't sugarcoat anything. With handsome, it's different. He's a human being, right? Then why treat him differently? I have to be gentle with handsome. Hmm. You think your method is right. No wonder every day I have to fight with nobody to come and see you. I think you're hoping Stephen is alive. Nonsense. Because in all our conversations, you've never once said that Stephen is dead. Because his body was not found, maybe you're hoping he'll come back again. All these years in jail, your brain has gone cuckoo. As if I want to see Stephen again. For what? To say goodbye properly, is it? You couldn't bring real glasses. Where's the fun in that? <laughs> or maybe two plastic cups. Then I won't get to share it with you. Corny. <laughs> so how was your day? It was all right until I had to do my family. Oh. <laughs> Why do parents always think they need to run your life? I think that's the secondary definition of parents. Why are we talking about parents on a beautiful night like this? Ready, darling? Always. Can't wait to see you in some of what you bought tonight. Oh, 
How come the security tags are still on? Mm, you know, the cashier must have missed it. It doesn't matter now. Oh, bummer. That means I can't see you in this tonight. Why not? If you try to bust the tags open, you might damage the clothes or worse. Explode bright ultraviolet ink all over you <laughs> and stain your skin for weeks. Jules, you have such an imagination. Let's live dangerously. Let's risk it. Jessica says they were one photos. Daddy, you are no fun today. Why is that? Ah. You know what Mummy always say? Um, Maxine, no running? No, Mummy always say to you, panning for your thoughts. <laughs> well, I guess what I'm really thinking is how different you will look wearing glasses. You mean like this? Ah. Off on, off ah. on.